Hello, this is Vasily again. Let's talk about the complementary angle theorem today. This just says the co-function of complementary angles are equal. Let the theorem be there. Let's first understand what the co-functions are. So normally we know the six trigonometric uh, ratios. So we make co-functions out of them like sine and cosine are co-functions. You can see the word, the letter co. Okay, so that's co-function. Secant and cosecant, they both are co-functions. And tangent and cotangent are co-functions. The complementary angles of these co-functions are equal. Let us see how. Sine 90 minus theta. Theta, I already told you, we take theta for unknown angle, right? So they say sine 90 minus theta equals cos theta. We know sine and cos are the sine and cosine, right? Are the co-functions. So likewise, cos 90 minus theta is equal to sine theta. So that's the first co-functions we learn. Then the second one is secant and cosecant. Secant 90 minus theta is equal to cosecant theta and cosecant 90 minus theta is equal to secant theta. And the third co-functions are tan and cot. So the theorem says tan 90 minus theta is equal to cot theta and cot 90 minus theta is equal to tan theta. So I'll just, uh, let's see how it is equal, okay? Now, Let's take this right triangle and uh, we know the sum of all the three angles in a right triangle, in, a, in any triangle is equal to 180 degree, right? Since this is a right triangle, we know one angle is 90. So the other two angles together should make 90, right? Because 190 is gone here. So out of this 180 degrees 90 is already given to one angle so the balance two angles should sum up to 90 degrees understood so let me take one angle as theta okay i'm taking one because we don't know what the angle is so if i take it as theta the other angle would definitely be 90 minus theta right because i said the total of these two angles should sum up to 90 degrees. If this one is theta, the other one should be the balance of 90 degree, right? So that is 90 minus the theta. And now let me name the triangle. Like I take the hypotenuse side as C. For convenience sake, I'm taking this as A and this one as B, okay? Now, uh, let's take the first one. There we say, sine 90 minus theta. Let's see what is sine 90 minus theta. So here the angle we are taking is 90 minus theta angle. So we work from this angle. Okay. So here I told you this would be the opposite side. So B is your opposite side and the hypotenuse is C. We know sine is opposite over hypotenuse. So that would be B over C. What is cos theta? Here we have, we, we have found out what is sine 90 minus theta. Now let me see what is cos theta. So this is cos theta we are going to find out. Cos theta. So we are working from the angle theta here. Okay. We are working from the angle theta here. So for cos it is adjacent over hypotenuse. Adjacent side of theta is B. So that's B over hypotenuse which is C. Now you can see that the sine 90 minus theta is equal to cos theta. And so we proved the first rule. Okay. The second one. Now in the first rule itself we have the second one. So let me do that. So now this time we are going to find cos 90 minus theta. So here cos 90 minus theta so we are working from the angle 90 minus theta remember it is 90 minus theta 
So cos is adjacent over hypotenuse. Here your adjacent side is A over hypotenuse is C. So this is A over C. Now let's find out the right hand side which is sin theta. So sin theta you work from the angle theta. So sin is opposite over hypotenuse. From the theta angle opposite is A and hypotenuse is C. So that is A over C. We find that your cos 90 minus theta is equal to sin theta. Likewise, if you check the other complementary angles given here, you find that they are all equal. The left hand side would be equal to the right hand side. Secant 90 minus theta. Hypotenuse over adjacent. So here your hypotenuse is C over adjacent is a. Cosecant is hypotenuse over opposite. So that is again C. From theta the hypotenuse side is C and the opposite side is A. So they both are equal. Similarly, the next one is cosecant 90 minus theta. So cosecant is hypotenuse over opposite, right? So from 90 minus theta angle, your hypotenuse is C and the opposite is B. Secant theta, it says hypotenuse over adjacent. From the angle theta, your hypotenuse side is C and your adjacent side is B. So you find these two equal again. Tan 90 minus theta. Tan is is opposite over adjacent so from the from the angle 90 minus theta your opposite is b over a but the cot theta i write it down here your cot theta would be from the angle theta cot is actually adjacent over opposite so here the adjacent side of theta is b over A. So those two are also equal. This is equal to this. And the last one is cot 90 minus theta. So that is again cot is adjacent over opposite. So from 90 minus theta the adjacent side is A. So that's A over B. Then we have tan theta. So opposite side is A for theta and adjacent side is B. So you find these two are also equal. So let's see this in the problem here. First one is evaluate sine 18 over cos 72. So we know sine and cos are co-functions, right? So let us change one of these. Either you change the sine or the cos to the other co-function. So here I'm going to change. This is like sine theta. So what is sin theta? We have already learned sin theta is equal to cos 90 minus theta, right? So I apply that here. So what happens? My sin 18 will be equal to cos 90 minus theta. Theta here is 18. So that's 90 minus 18, okay? Divided by the other one you just keep as it is. So that is cos 72. Now what happens? This would become cos 19 minus 80 is 72. And at the bottom it is already cos 72. So those both get cancelled. And the value would be equal to 1. 1 whole. Okay. This is the, this is the answer for sine 18 over cos 72. Isn't that easy? So let's look at the next problem. Here they say show that tan 48 times tan 23 times tan 42 times tan 67 is equal to 1. So let me take the LHS first. The LHS is left hand side. Let me take the uh, ones on the left hand side first. So here first you have to decide which one you are going to convert to co-functions, okay? 
So see the pair 48. So this 48 and 42 makes 90 degree, right? So you know those two are pairs, okay? Then this 23 and 67 makes 90 degree. So we understood which are all the pairs. Now you are going to just change one of it, okay? One of the pair to the co-functions. So now I can keep the 48 as it is. So I just wrote tan 48 as it is times this tan 42. I'm going to convert. Okay, I'll first let me rearrange it. So I just brought the pairs together. Okay, so this is tan 42. Then tan 23 times tan 67. Now let's change the one of the co-function. So this I keep it as tan 48. Tan uh, 42 would become cot 90 minus 42. Next one tan 23 I keep as it is. Only one you should convert. Okay. And the other one would be the tan 67. It's pair I am going to convert to cot. The co-function. So that is cot 90 minus 67. Okay. Now what happens? Just see tan 48 remains as tan 48 this would become this cot 90 minus 42 becomes cot 48 right tan 23 will remain as it is and the next one when you subtract 90 minus 67 you get cot 23 here by now you should have got the clue now the next step you keep the tan 48 as it is we know cot is the reciprocal of tan, right? So I can write this cot as 1 over tan 48. It is the reciprocal of tan. I just made it 1 over tan 48. The next tan 23 I keep as it is. This tan 23 and the cot I'm going to write in terms of tan. We know that cot is the reciprocal of tan. So I'm just going to make it tan 23. So you can now cancel the numerator with that of the similar denominators. So everything gets cancelled and you are left with 1. Okay. So that is 1 which is equal to our RHS, the right hand side. That is what we should prove now. So it is equal to RHS. Your LHS is equal to your left hand side is equal to right hand side. Hence it is proved. This is done. The next one is if secant 4a is equal to cosecant a minus 20 where 2a is an acute angle find the value of a. This is so simple. Just write down the question. So that says secant 4a is equal to cosecant a minus 20, right? So let me change the secant to cosecant. So secant, this 4a I take it as theta, okay? If this is theta, I can write this as cosecant 90 minus 4a, okay? I have converted it to its co-function. And this right hand side I write as it is. Cosecant A minus 20. Since both sides it is cosecant, I can just equate, I can just say that 90 minus 4A is equal to A minus 20. Bring the A to one side and the numbers to other side. So I add 4A on either side. And I also add 20 on either side. So what happens now? You get 110 is equal to 5a. This 4a will get cancelled and this 20 will get cancelled. That implies your a is equal to 110 divided by 
5 which is 22 degrees. So the last problem here, if angle ABC are the interior angles of triangle ABC, show that sin B plus C over 2 is equal to cos A over 2. Okay. So we are using the co-functions here. So the sin B plus C I am going to convert to the to its co-function. So that becomes cos 90 minus B plus C over 2. This is equal to the right hand side cos A over 2. So you can do the calculation inside this. So that would be cos. So I just take the common denominator. So that would be like 2 here. So it's 2 times 90 which is 180 minus 180 minus B plus C here. Right? Is equal to here I just write the right hand side as it is. Now what is 180 minus B plus C? See they have told that a, B, C are interior angles. So when you add up all the interior angles, you should get 180 degrees, right? The sum of all the angles inside a triangle is 180 degree. So now I just take my B, B and C to the other side. So what happens? I'm just subtracting B plus C on either side. So what happens? You would have A here because plus B plus C and minus B plus C will cancel is equal to 180 minus B plus C, right? So you know 180 minus B plus C is equal to A. So here on my left side, I'm just going to replace 180 minus B plus C as A over 2 is equal to the right hand side already we have cos A over 2. Here we have proved it. You have brought the L left hand side to equate to the right hand side. So you see your LHRS, the left hand side is equal to your right hand side and hence it is proved. Okay. In this video, I have just discussed about the co-functions and the complementary theorem. Okay. Hope you all understood. Thank you. Bye-bye.